I would like to thank LG for giving me the opportunity to explain this work. As we all know, the accuracy of the diagnosis for LTP allergy is a major challenge, and this is due to different reasons. Patients may react to multiple, uh, multiple LTPs, and uh, patients show different degrees of clinical severity. For now, the double-blind placebo control food challenge is still the gold standard test for diagnosing the LG-mediated food allergy, but the LTP allergy is not standardized. We study a group of 83 patients diagnosed with LTP syndrome. The majority of our patients were a woman. 65% had a history of rhinitis, mainly to, to sensitization to pollen. Regarding previous symptoms to pitch, more than the 50% of the patients report contact with the carrier. All patients have symptoms with a median of 3-4 plant food associated with sensitization, being the nuts the most, fre the most frequent. All patients underwent double-blind placebo control food challenge using a three-step protocol and were finally deemed to determine by tips of pitch juice with different amounts of gluten free So we compared patient basis of the batches of juice they received. 90% of the patients were positive during the double-blind placebo control food challenge and no patient had a severe reaction. In relation to the reactive dose, we observed that all the group 1 of the patient, those who received the batch with the lowest amount, amount of gluten free, had symptoms during the first doses compared to group 2. Finally, the reactive dose was the same in both groups, taking the third step. Furthermore, we did not find predictive biomarkers to add for the outcome our survey and or the severity of the double blind placebo control food challenge. In our study, we show that the double-blind placebo control food challenge is a safe procedure even in patients with history of severe allergy. The minimum dose to induce symptoms is around 24.5 microgram of gluten 3 which is higher than the trusses levels quantified in commercial food identify. So it, this has important implications not only for the double-blind placebo control food challenge standardization, but also the improvement of the clinical management and daily quality of life of our patients.